bugs to smiles and back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family as always thank you so much for the love and support it is truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while i have not already dropped the line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you find the videos just uplifting and just give you a good vibe that you truly appreciate or you are able to use please give a thumbs up and share will be greatly appreciated and so much love and light upliftment and protection towards your way anybody with nefarious you know low level frequencies you're trying to come in block distract you know trying to put me in an upheaval hey i'm playing all that mess it's gonna everything is divinely loved divinely heavily divinely protected and you know mm -mm. It ain't about to go here, so it's going to be turned right back to you 20 times fold. So, um, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's God and Universe never challenges no one that they don't intend to use. It is so true. You know, we go through the worst of the worst. You know, especially if you know you're trying to, you know, do something good for your life. Trying to go through some kind of change. There's always going to be some line of, of challenge there. And for that to happen, you know, it can really suck. You know, it's like you, there ain't no way to be able to say it can really suck. It can be very annoying. But these are the different things. This is how we learn in life. There'll be so many different things in my life where I'm looking at God like, me and you about to have it out. You know, I had some choice. You probably been in in a universe like you ready to fight. No, I'm good and well, you ain't going to win that fight. But you were ready to fight. You don't had your own choice words. I don't got to that point where I don't sit up here and say stuff, cuss God out, touch the universe out. And then I had to go back and say, I'm sorry. You're right. I was all right. <laughs> you know, I had to be that way. But he already knows. You're going through a lot of different things. You're going through some changes you never expected in life. You're going through a lot of things where it'll feel like it is not fair. You know, especially when you know people are doing different things into your life that's really placing you in a, a, a very traumatizing, dramatic situation. You know, that's what led me on my on my path. You know, I had to be very transparent. I had to allow myself to wouldn't know you're speaking on things but don't allow yourself to be in that victim mentality and I was just like I was hurt when I, when I found out I was like wait a minute so these different things has happened to me yes it happened to you but this is happening to you even though it's happening to you it's happening for you in my situation I, I was like wait a minute so you trying to tell me you done did some mess like this to me and I'm not supposed to be upset about it because it did happen but yes it did but you don't have to see yourself as a victim even though you are, you may have been victimized, but don't ever see yourself as a victim. This is something that you want to be a victor. You want to create victory off of your circumstances that took place in your life that really shook you. It may have been trying to take your life. It may even try to convince you to take your own life. It made you want to give up in so many different ways. But these challenges are creating something that you would never allow yourself. You, you can't even fathom what it can really turn into. You know, I'm still... And, you know, I, I don't got out of the work of progress. I'm just, you know, putting the finishing touches on my masterpiece. So I told people, don't say you're a work in progress. You know, you've been on this for a while and you've been doing everything you possibly can. You done had setback after setback, delay after delay, distraction after distraction. But these are the different things you learn about. You had to be able to see, you know, nobody can't place distractions on you or delays on you unless you allow that to happen and maybe it'll be a situation where you stay more focused on what the enemy was doing to you instead of what was truly important about what God promised you if God say he gonna do something you need to be more focused on what that is and I gotta remind myself that a lot trust me you know, I, like I tell you, I'm very transparent on that. I could tell I've been, you know, I've been mad where I stood up here and talked about the, a lot of different things that the enemy has done. And, you know, and it had to be at that point where, you know, I tell God, I don't want to talk about it because it made me feel like I'm projecting because I have done that before. I'm not even going to lie. I have. And I'll be like, oh, it made me want to delete that video. And it's like, no, don't do that. You know, you were in a vibration where you talked about that you wanted to pinpoint everything. You want to call some like character out. You know, but this is that, that time when I'm telling you to talk about something is because I have a reason behind you talking about it. Even though I may not understand, you may not understand why God allows you to speak on certain things. 
you know, and it'll be those different things that's telling you to speak on it because I have a reason behind those different things. And it's like with me, I got a platform where I'm going through a lot of transitions. You know, I'm not the same person I was yesterday. I'm not in competition with nobody. I ain't comparing my life to nobody. I used to be able to do that. And that is like the the greatest stress killer. I mean, that's the stress that could be the stress killer on your life that'll kill you within that stress if you kept on allowing yourself to compare what people have gone through i used to get so mad when i seen different things where they say oh you know um what is it uh what was it how they say um when you allowed yourself to go through different stuff in your life where it can be like uh where somebody went through something and they almost gave up and next you know blessings came in you know and it'll be like you know how many different times I don't gave up on stuff and I had to get right back on it you didn't do that for me because you compared your life to somebody else's there's some they, they were on their path and that that's what God had for them but he got something else for you different don't compare what you what somebody else got going on in their life and you comparing it to your own don't do that you know, that'll be a Morris way for you be putting yourself in there, be placing minor setbacks all the time, left and right, left and right, when you start comparing your life to somebody. The only person you in com comparison is, is what you were doing five minutes ago, or what was on your mind yesterday. If there was something on your mind where you kept looking at the setbacks and not understanding, oh, that setback was something for me to learn something more about myself that I wasn't able to, you know, I wasn't learning yesterday, but I learned that for today. So that should be, okay, you know what, let me allow myself to see the bigger picture of that perspective on why I did have that setback but also at that same time appreciate what that setback has shown me and you had to be at that point where you understand these challenges are creating major changes in your life if we didn't have challenges we wouldn't know what benefits that we have from reaping from those setbacks those failures those constant delays we had into our life because anytime you know I've, I've been with that with friends when I was in that connection and it'll be something that it'll be one of those I ain't know where that came from. It would be like a vomit sp sp spoke of, you know, some kind of light. And it would be like, what do you mean a vomit So I'm like, well, we don't know. You know, we can have that a rumble in the stomach. And we don't know where that upset of our stomach is. And it could be gas or it could be to the point where, you you know, you're going to regurgitate something. And that's what it was. And I had a friend of mine that, that said, you know, while I was on somebody blocked me on my blessings. And Universe used that, you know, because I was saying the same thing. Two different people blocked me on my blessings, even though they did. But I allowed those different things to happen but if it at that point is like they can't block anything that is for you they cannot no matter what they do know how many strength and numbers they cannot block anything that's for you because if God say that this is for you it's going to be for you no matter what people are on the outskirts are doing for you doing to you towards you against you whatever whatever God says is what God say the only time it blocks like that because you aren't officially ready for it yet. Because whatever God is placing into your life is a blessing. It's going to leave a legacy. He want to make sure you're in complete alignment because it's already yours. He's just trying to align you to be able to get to that. But for you doing that, those are different things that's taking place into your life. These things had to happen. Those changes had to happen. Maybe you had people in your life that would, if they would have been there, these things wouldn't have happened right for you. So you had to be able to go through these different things that took place in life where if God are to see this person can't be right with you. So as long as you have this person into your life, that means that they, you can't get your blessings. Because there will be a lot of times that you have good things coming into your life. But you talking to somebody or having people in your life that they know this is going to mess up that whole blessing. It was supposed to be a blessing of a lifetime. It would have been a blessing of a whole lesson. It would went straight in and straight out. And that was something that was supposed to leave something for the next ones that you about to produce into the world. So there's a lot of different challenges you go through to where... Whatever is taking place into your life is going to be beneficial for you, whether it was something good, bad, happy, or sad. These are the different things that's taking you towards that next level. This is going to motivate you to become better. This is going to strengthen you in different ways. This is what you didn't know that you had coming, and it showed you what you couldn't do or what you couldn't do. It was like when I first started, it was so many good things that I was going through in my life that I was so proud of being able to do. And I had that mindset because I, I always wanted to see everybody win. I assume that people, you know, me speaking on things that I'm about to do, not had done, not in concrete, but was about to do.
and wonder why I lost interest in it or it fell through. Because people are like, oh, she that dumb dumb. She don't know. You can sit up here and have something very good that was supposed to be a blessing towards you that's going to take you to that next level. And just the sniff of somebody being around that don't even know you. It don't even mean, because I even tell people, hey, if we are on a one-on-one -on -one conversation, while well, I've been on a, a lot of my, my um, soul brothers and sisters, I'll say, we can talk about anything. It don't matter because I want to see you win. But anybody, like if we on live chat, I'm like, hey, don't be saying that. Or even when y'all sit up here and bring up a video, I bring up a video and you're like, hey, Ross, I'm about to meet my twin flame. I'm like, no, don't tell nobody that. That's nobody. You don't know nobody. I always tell people, you never tell somebody when you're about to reach your twin flame. Now, it's me and you. We talking. I'm like, oh, oh, my God. I'm so happy for you and all these different things. You deserve this. You've been working so hard. But please, don't keep that to yourself. And many people thought I was being jealous off of that. And I said, no. If you go look that up, it will tell you never tell somebody when you're about to meet your twin flame. Because somebody may be having trouble with their twin flame or they don't know who their twin flame is or their twin flame not ghost them. Just for you saying that, then all of a sudden you're supposed to meet your, like say you're about to meet me at 12, 12 tomorrow, which is twin flame code, 11, 11. Next thing you know, somebody said, ah, I'm going to make sure that they don't do that. They'll be wishing some kind of hex on your stuff. Just breathe some kind of negative vibration towards your stuff and next thing you know that doesn't happen for you and then you're wondering why they tell people those are the most that that's a gift from god when you meet your other soul that's the old other part of your soul that is a you in a different body that's something that's very sacred you don't need to be talking about that to other people because not every, everybody wants that for you and they were like well they don't even know me it don't matter there's some miserable people out here that will wish the worst on you just because they're miserable like that and I had to learn from different things that I was so happy about that I wanted to be able to share with people I wonder why I fell through because people didn't want that for me or I was about to do things that was about to really put out some truth that they already know. Oh, no, that's going to be a no, no. We can't have that out because you're going to tell something that's going to contradict what we done said about her. And it didn't happen. And I had to be able to learn from that. Or I had to be able to tell people, move in silence. Don't tell people what you're about to do next. Anything that's not built in concrete that can't be reversed, don't tell people. A lot of times, like, girl, when did that happen? You didn't tell me what. Well, how long has it been out? Oh, I thought you knew. You don't need to be telling people that. I used to wonder why my dad was so private like that. And, you know, I mean, people know him for 30, 45 years and still wouldn't know half of the stuff out unless I said something. They're like, Dad, damn, that makes sense. We just thought he was weird like that. And it'll be different stuff like that. There's a lot of things you need to keep quiet. I like living like that because I, I already know I got so many vibes on here that was waiting for me taking notes about what they're going to try to do to block whatever and they hate it because I move in silence that drives them crazy they're curious about you you know you have these different tarot readings come up they're curious about you they're using divination about you uh, I'll show different things you start seeing crows and ravens and a certain pair and stuff somebody use some divination to try to figure out what the heck you doing and even universe still ain't going to let them know what's going on they're going to tell them what they want them to know you know, they already know you're doing something for nefarious reasons. So um, we're not about to tell you anything. Especially if they wanted you to know, they would tell you or will let you know. But we know you're doing this for the wrong reasons. So we're only going to tell you what we think we want you to know. So it will be one of those that what we think, what we want you to think we want you to know. Put it that way. So there's a lot of different challenges that comes in way. You know, they give you a snippet of how your life could be. They're not going to show you, oh, this is how it's going to happen. They'll tell you, oh, this is going to happen. Like, okay, you're going to be the CEO of our upper empire. But your buddy's sitting up here on, you know, you 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 know, you know, almost daggone near homeless out there. Or you're homeless. They're trying to understand, how did God sit up here and say, I'm going to be a, a CEO of, of a $10 million, you know, empire. How am I going to be able to do that? I'm sitting out here, you know, begging for change with a, a dirty coffee cup. You know, plastic, you know, plastic cup for, that I use for coffee. How am I going to be able to do that? You have some kind of wisdom. You may be a person that speaks positivity out on the streets every day. You know, even though you're going through the worst of the worst, you still see positivity out of that. There's going to be somebody that's going to go past you every day. And it's like, no matter what this he or she is going through, they always speak love out to the world out here. You have to be a really, you know, a really strong person, even though you're going through the worst of the worst. That, you know, a lot of people, 
are scared of being homeless. There's a lot of people that love being that way because they say they're not controlled by bills. They can sleep wherever they want. They can do whatever they want. There's a lot of people that like being that way. I mean, that's scary to me, but there's some people that love living off the land like that. There's just certain people that are like that, and I've, I really admire their strength for being able to do that. You know, but you just don't know. You could be that person that just breathes positivity out with people. And it could be that one person that you give out this stuff and they have something to connect to this. And they got all this money and they're wanting to be able to do that. And next, you know, they're wanting they, they're wanting to create something new. You know, universe. God done gave them an idea. I want you to be able to do this and this and this with a certain person. But you're going to find it. But it's going to be throughout the times. So or it will be the last person you think of. But it will be something that will connect with you every day. And it could be that person. You may be that person that they're going to pass every day. And then they're going to get that aha moment. And they're going to like, this is the person that's supposed to be that. And then next thing you know, you two and them connect together. And it's something that y'all, you know, it, it, it just like two birds and a feather flock together. And it's something that really magnet, you know, is a magnet between that. It's something that really gravitates towards y'all. That they, they carry that whatever it is. You, you had left out of that, but you carried something strong, and they carried something strong, and it just came together, and boom. Next thing you know, y'all came out with like a hallmark, or, you know, it could have been like hallmark, the future hallmark, or whatever, where you, you're coming out with, you know, courageous things, and now everything is mainstream. You could be that type of person that has an app that just comes up with different things on how you become positive. How is the way to do that? What, what do you have to do to become in this vibration to be able to do that? And y'all doing these things. And next you know, boom, y'all multi-million dollar company. Then y'all adding on another program to be able to do this. You know, being able to create mantras or, you know, be able to manifest, you know, laws of attraction or something like that. And now you're understanding you you got this image of you a long time ago where God is placed in your mind. This is what could happen. But you didn't know how that was going to happen. And it's just like God don't care how much you have in a bank account, even lack of their one. He's telling you this is what's going to happen, but he's only going to give you a snippet of it. But you're going to have to go through all these different challenges to be able to be that. Maybe you were struggling at a job that you didn't like. You know, you keep on finding a job where there's always drama. You know, especially if you're a Hayoka, you're always going to have problematic situations. The more you, and I always tell you, if you're a Hayoka, or you may not even know that you are, there will be certain times where the stronger you get, the more knowledgeable you get, the more triggering you are. You're a walking trigger. <laughs> you are mirrored to a lot of people that don't want to be mirrored. They don't want you to project something that they need to change in their life. Or they don't want you to project something they already know that they have about themselves. And they just don't want to change that. You become that problem. It's like every time I turn around. I'm always like every time I turn around I'm always having to come to the school. You always got these issues going on with you. Or every time I hear about you you don't lost the job because you don't cuss somebody out. Or you don't stood up for yourself. Or you know you got people at your job that always say you know I admire you. You had thick skin. You know you were the most shortest person in the world. You know at the work workforce, but yet you the main one that will stand up for yourself and speak loud and proud about it. And you didn't care, even if it had to take you to lose a job. And I was that person. You know, and you always like every time you turn around, you were losing a job because you spoke the truth. People wanted you to be the yes man or the yes girl, or you being that person that was just straight up about truth, and people didn't like that about you. You know, so the more you become knowledgeable about that, the more you stand in your truth. A lot of people, they refuse to change and want to be, you know, I want to be that person that's always outspoken. I want to be that person that's always being noticed when you don't even have to work on doing it. You can just show up. And <laughs> with you showing up becomes an issue for a lot of people. So they want to be able to find out how they can do that. You know, I had different people that, you know, I used to wear the same hairstyles as me, try to project out being me. And I used to get mad about that. And they had to be able to understand you are you and that's your superpower. Nobody can't mimic that. Nobody, it'd be a carbon copy, but you the prototype. They can't be able to do that. They can try all they want to, but nobody can be you. That's the most powerful weapon you have is nobody can be you. So there's different things that's going to take place in your life. You're trying to always challenge. Why is it so hard for me to get blessings that, you know, is already mine? They already tell me it's already mine. But why do I always got to have people that's always trying to block that? Or why do I always have people that's trying to make me self-sabotage or they're trying to sabotage stuff? Because they see something great that's going to come into that. Like I tell, I have to remind myself, if somebody knows they're not going to be a part of that, some people can walk off and say, you know what? 
it can be any kind of relationship. If that person is happy, even if me not being in their life makes them still happy and they do that, I wish them the best. I'm going to go ahead and do that. But you got some people that feel like they got to be a part of every daggone thing that's good that's coming into your life because this may be something that's going to make them stick out. This is going to be a part of them that's going to make them have money or this is going to be something that's going to make them be noticed. So they want to be able to know if they can't be a part of that, neither will you. Do they create a challenge for you? You have that. That's my situation. <laughs> you know, I go through all that. Where it's like, oh, if I can't do this, you know, I already know I effed up every day I'm going to think. But if I can't be a part of this, you can't either. You know, what's yours is mine. What's mine is mine. You know what? And I don't really have anything that's really mine. So I'm going to take all yours. You know, it's like those different situations. There's a many me's out there like that. But anyway, it'll be those different things that's showing you no matter what somebody is doing. Your, those challenges are allowing you don't stay focused on what they're trying to take from you don't stay focused on what they're trying to sabotage from you you stay focused on what's important to you what you want into your life not something that is going to distract you from that because that is sent as a distraction they're supposed to be a distraction that's a part of the thing where it levels up on you leveling up now to be able to remind myself that a lot of different things has taken place in my life that, you know, I had to really be saying this is beneficial towards that. Even if I might not like it, it's annoying as hell. But these are the different things that brings that challenge into my life that is worth having. Because if I didn't see this, I wouldn't know how to be very, you know, uh, protective of what is mine. Or I wouldn't be very protective on what I'm about to do next. I wouldn't be silent. On the moves I'm going to make. I don't have to be able to announce these things. I had to be able to be that type of person. Even when I took time off to just for self care. I had to allow myself to stop announcing that. Because there's a lot of people that say. Okay well Rosalind's doing that. Because you know. They all, you know, people a lot of like. Oh you used to tell me. Rosalind. You need to take a break. <laughs> you know because I used to do about 12-13 videos a day. And it can go on for like two and three weeks at a time. And wonder why I'm barked out and I got to go sit up here and drink a monster drink. And wonder why I'm tired. Like, well, let me look and see when the last time I've had a break. And it'll be like a month. I used to be that way. And I used to do like 12, 13 videos a day. It was that bad. You know, because I always used to be that type of person. I always oh, I got to download. I got to download. And had to be able to do that. Because they used to always challenge me that way. Now, since I've done it for so long. And I did that, you know, for three, four years straight. So it got like about, you know, 4,200 videos or whatever out there. So now if I want to take a break for a whole month, shoot, y'all got a whole bunch of damn videos to watch right there if you want to watch my videos. Got about almost like 4,500 out there. So you can go ahead and watch that, you know, and I'll be back in the meantime. But it'll be those different times where I had to be heavy on that. But it was just like, don't do that because there's a lot of people that want to be able to do that. Like, okay, if she's taking that time to rest, now this is that time I can use divination and do this and send all these kind of spells and this and this and this and this and that towards her because I had really dark things. It's like we Creole. There's a lot of folks around me that did nefarious stuff. They just didn't want to see me rise out of anything. They wanted me to be low or even make me take myself out or they could do it. So it'd be at that point where if I just step back, I step back. I don't tell nobody what I'm doing. I'm chilling. You know, if I come back, I'm like, oh, I did a lot of reflection and that's pretty much it. I ain't got to tell you everything I'm doing because there's a lot of people out there that wants to know that I'm not going to tell them because it ain't none of your business. If you were supposed to know, you would have been there to know. Even if it was, I'm just not about to tell you anyway because it's none of nobody's business. You don't need to be able to do that. And I had to really be able to learn off of that. You know, I learned so much from having a YouTube channel. You know, I had to be able to have a thick skin. I had to be able to know when you're doing something good, you know, you're projecting something good, you're always going to have somebody to have some negative feedback to make you doubt yourself, make you want to stop. You know, going to say, you know, I had to deal with racism. You know, people saying stupid stuff to me. I had to be able to know. And I tell people all the time, especially if you're doing YouTube or whatever, you're going to have different people to have fake accounts, do these dummy accounts, and they're saying all the little stupid stuff to you. But you ought to know, truth come to, truth come to light, if they send you out on the street, they're going to approach you with that mess. Because then you'll see exactly who they are, and they're going to have to be able to tell you. And they may not know. <laughs> what type of person you are if you approach them like that. So a lot of times people do this little stuff on you because they already know. They got a dummy account. They ain't going to be able to say that to your face. They're going to admit that whatever you're doing is positive is affecting something that they, they know there's negative about them. So you have to be able to do that. You know, you have to be able to understand some people are just like that. You're going to be able to have challenges. This is what God and universe has created that for you for. Because then you're going to understand the most important thing about it is how you go about life 
throughout those challenges are you allowing yourself to be fear fear based on every challenge that comes your way or being able to say you know what i'll deal with it when i have to deal with it you know i'll cross that bridge when i get there you know it'll be different things where you'll you know you may look at you know tarot card readings and stuff like that and be like hey that person's gonna approach you and you're like what's new <laughs> you know what is new that person always approaches you or you're gonna have some kind of upheaval coming your way okay what's new you know, you can't be, oh my God, fearful, like what is going to happen, this and this and that. Because you're already creating fear into yourself or there's going to be some kind of resistance. They don't need you to do that. You have to be able to be ready so you don't have to constantly get ready. Be able to expect the unexpected. I had to be able to tell myself that as well. I love being able to watch tarot card readings as well as I do my own. You know, because they're very informative. But I don't allow myself to be doing like based on... You know, every decision I have, but it's a good thing where I have insight. Like, dang, whoo, I'm so glad I watched this one. Because this told me this and this and that. And it already prepared me for that certain situation. So, it will be able to do that. Or different ones I have, even about myself, where I'll do a tarot card reading. They already warn me, hey, you got this coming up. So, you have to be able to prepare yourself for it. Be able to brace yourself. But just being able to know you have the strength to overcome this. These are different things where you're overcoming challenge after challenge. Where it's letting you know, when you look back... See how much these challenges has changed you. See how much these challenges have strengthened you. See how far it has gotten you further than what you did before. I used to be that type of person when things didn't come easy for me, I gave up. And my mom used to always tell me, and my mom still tell me, I'm so glad you did not give up on this. I'm so glad you didn't. You know, so such and such person was hoping you would have gave up, but you kept on going. It was something about you. It'll be something about if you, even if you are a person that give up. It will be a certain thing that was made for you. Your soul won't even allow you to do it. You can be mad say, bump it. I give up. I'm tired. I'm this and this and that. You come up a day or two later. Okay, well, we need to get back on the drawing board. No, I don't want to do that. And you, some kind of way, you be mad. Just, all right, fine. I'll do this. You know, and you'll be right back to the drawing board. Because you know, this is something that was your soul. You you initiated this self for you way back in the beginning. I know you like that. I wish I would have took myself way back there and kissed myself, uh, kicked myself in the arse. Being able to say, hey, don't sign that. Damn, don't sign that. You signed your whole soul away by doing that. But this is what you, you this is what you signed up for. You know, you're creating some kind of chain of events in your life that is going to trigger off many chains of events for other people's lives. This is what that change of event of change is taking place. So it's just a lot of time. I know, I think I probably did a video with this title before, but it's been long time ago but something came back to it where it was telling me you know say this you know god and universe don't never challenge a person that they don't intend to use you know a lot of people will see that change in your see change in their life and you know some people are used to being you know they can be okay with not making better out of their life they're okay with doing it but you if you're watching this video and you know you were intended for change. I'm not talking about watching this video because you're an enemy of mine and you're trying to be nosy. But I'm talking about the ones that are intended to do this, that it caught their eye. You know, if there was a change that was supposed to be, that was, you know, you were supposed to impact your life in a major way. Challenge is going to come with that because if anything great is not going to come easy to you. A lot of people are going to make sure it don't come easy for you. They're going to be trying to steal. They're going to try to take. They're going to make you put doubt in your mind. Put fear on your mind. That, oh, it's too big. No dream is ever too big to be able to deal. You know, if Trump become president, anybody can do that. You know, if you can do this, anybody can do that. You know, it's always what you put your mind to to do. If you know it's something, if they put it in your mind that this can take place, it can happen. You may not know how the right way to be able to do it. But when you know you're open to be teachable. When you tell universe. Hey. I'm open to be teachable. When I'm allowing myself to be that way. Universe is like sure we're waiting on you. You know we're waiting on you. It'll be even a part of yourself. That was waiting for you to be acknowledged. You had anybody that you have read, met into. Ran into. Any experience you have went into. It always rewrited you to a self. That was waiting for you to acknowledge that part of self. There's always a part of yourself. That you weren't aware that was there this whole time. Waiting for you to be able to connect with that. Like yo what's up. We've been waiting for you for all know how long. Hey how you doing. It's going to be a part of yourself like that. And it's going to be a very emotional moment. There will be some days that I will sit here and cry and be appreciating God for all the challenges I've went through. There will be some time I'll be mad as hell at God for all the challenges that I keep going through. But I know if I'm going to be doing something that's going to impact a lot of people. And I know I've had, 
you know, I love the things that I've done. There's a lot of times where I felt like I done said some powerful stuff. Why the hell don't I have more su subscribers? Why the hell don't I have a lot of views? But God protected me for a while for certain reasons. I may not understand, but I may end up getting that clarity if it's meant for me to know. But I know that when I allow myself to keep going and I keep on seeing things that were getting better in my life that wasn't always going to be that way it was not going to always do that but a lot of times it takes a little bit longer for certain things to happen but there's a reason behind that you know you're learning more about yourself you're knowing more about your path you're knowing more about your purpose this is what's challenging you to create better for yourself and when you're doing that you don't know who's watching you you don't know you I mean you have a lot of enemies watching you but you have a lot of admirers watching you got people's in the heavens talking about you you know on the different things that's taking place and the things that you know you're doing is going to impact in a great way is going to be challenging towards you because it's just like devil don't want that because it's like within you there's there's so many different things in the world today where we fill out so so many things is so powerful so magical it has to be a lie it has to be a gimmick it can never be possible and that's the reason why a lot of us go through that because people like that in the world feel like things when you have so much bad going in your life they ain't never good can project out of that you made that possible you can go through the most drastic things and nothing good can come out of a thing that can be so tragic, so traumatic. But something good will end up triggering off into your situation to where many people will admire that. You'll be that, oh my God, what the f moment. Be with you. Just because the fact is they never thought that was possible. That's why it's okay for some people to just be. They weren't supposed to be those ones that supposed to impact the world. There will be a lot of people feel like, oh, the world can't change because they want that part. There's going to be a part of that change. When you know you want change in the world, when you know you want people to treat each other better, I'm that type of person where I go by character, not by color. You know, I don't judge you by your sexual orientation or what you choose to do because that's what you choose to do. But just love you as a person. You know, when you're doing something bad, I'm like, oh, okay, you, you need to fix that or different things that I got going on around me I really be sticking it to the person but it's just be like it is what it is I can't allow myself to keep preaching to somebody that you know that, that, that wants to dumb it down dot com don't want to you know they want to go numb on that I'm like okay it is what it is I'm gonna let you keep on doing but it's not gonna stop me from what I'm doing I'm gonna keep growing I'm gonna keep knowing I'm gonna keep allowing myself to create better for myself I'm gonna stand my ground I'm gonna speak in my power and I'm gonna stand in my truth I'm gonna keep doing that whatever I had in my instinct that would drag me along yesterday gonna be that major power power role there ain't gonna be a power struggle no more for today it's gonna be that way the only creating better in my life whatever it was that was a standby is gonna be a, a standoff it is like uh, -uh I, ain't, I can't be standing by and allowing this to happen I'm gonna stand off and project out whatever it is is positive or whatever it is that God or universe wants me to speak on I want to be able to do that I want to be very transparent keeping it real with myself so I can keep it real with other people you know, we all have our ups and downs. We all have our challenges that sometimes we don't understand what's taking place. But we know whatever is supposed to be great within our lives, it's not going to come by easy like that. There's going to be some kind of trilogy. This, I mean, not, not tri trilogy, but some kind of challenges, some kind of, you know, confusion, some kind of resistance in that way. Because if you don't, you don't know what you really you know you don't really know what's about you know because if you know you're doing something positive within your life and you don't have somebody trying to place doubt or breathing fear into that sometimes you got to get away from certain people that don't want to see you do good or you want to see you want to get away from people that want to just backpack on their way they don't want to do anything but they want to jump on that bandwagon they're like oh let me jump on there with you since you're doing good because i want to be able to do good i don't want to be able to do all those changes but i just want to jump on there and get that too because whatever you're doing it sounds so good and i want to be a part of that but i just don't want to work on that you got to be able to cut those folks off you know but you want to be around the people that are magnified because it's just like when you get up in that vibration you god is going to bring people towards your way that's going to encourage you they're going to admire what you're doing they're going to tell you hey whatever you're doing don't stop you're doing a good job you're helping me or you're helping me help others or the things that you're doing i had to tell somebody about what you said the other day because it helped me it uplift me 
you know, it's just like there's so many different things that I'll talk about. There's so many different flosses that I don't showed on here. You know, there's so many different times y'all see me on a goofy mode. You don't see me in happy mode. It was like even a video I did the other day was so controversial to me because it was so many different words and stuff that I, I don't use on my on my channel, my platform. It's nothing against anybody else that does it, but I just don't speak like that. But I was it like in that mood, and God was like, you were in that vulnerable point, but I need you to be able to show that. And I, it was so cringy to me because I don't talk like that. But it was just like you were in that moment. You were in a very detrimental moment where stuff got real for you. Somebody was trying to take your life. Nay, the third, you know, this like third, fourth, fifth time it done happened. You know, and you got to that point where you got pissed off. <laughs> you were really speaking your mind on what happened. And it has to be that way. You know, and it was just at that point, I don't like showing that part of me. But it's just, you. there's so many people that are out there going through that same thing. Where people are trying to shut them down by keeping them quiet. Because there's so many different things that you're speaking on truth about. And somehow I place death on your life. There's many people who are on that. So it told me to get in that. You know, don't don't erase it. Don't sit up here and, and put it on private. You let that sit there. Anybody who watches that video, they're going to see that. Because, you know, there's so many different things that's been placed on my life or different things that people lied about. They don't want that truth out. So it's just like if they want to keep talking about that in universes, like they want to keep doing it, and we tell you to go ahead and tell what they're doing, we allow you to do that. You know you ain't speaking on character or anything like that, but if we're guiding you to talk on it, we don't allow that to happen. You may not understand why, but we have our reasons for it. You just do what we tell you. Okay. <laughs> you know, you had to be on that vibration. And that's what it was. But it's just different things you're going to go through. That's going to really challenge you. But it, uh, there's times that you may not get that clarity for that at that point when you're doing it. But it'll get to that point where you can make, see all the changes and different stuff you came through. Different people you have met. Different people are still in your life. Different people you had to disconnect from. Different people expired or different people that just walked out of your life. But then it'll be at that time you're going to appreciate everything that you don't went through with everybody. Because it created something better for you. So you understand any challenges, any God, anything that God has used you for a challenge. Don't think that he, he, if he challenges you, he's intending to use you for a greater purpose. So keep going, okay? Keep doing you and let you be you. Just be great at being you, okay? So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video. You know, um, I, I really appreciate every all the support that I've been getting. You know, the views are going up. I really appreciate it as well as, you know, the subscribers is doing that as well. And the different emails and the text messages y'all have. Thank you so much. I've been going through a lot. So if I haven't really been active, you know, I've been, you know, really reflecting on myself and doing a lot of that at this this time. So please be patient with me. Um, so I would... Um, I always just place all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, you know, just being able to help you understand the path of purpose on why certain things are taking place into your life. Um, just being able to understand why it unfolded the way it did. You know, if the universe lets us connect like that, you know, I try my best to be able to help out the best way I can to be able to give you that deeper understanding of your purpose than that. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential and I'll help out the best way I can. Uh, you know, I share all also on my community section of my podcast you know I haven't started those up in a while it's been like about a month or two I haven't did that and I really need to get back on it but I also been sending out a lot of different posts where it's encouragement you know just love or different things where it's really wanting to empower you to become better a person or different things you need to look for like if you're dealing with narcissistic people toxic people these are the different things that happen or you betraying yourself you know I send out stuff like that but I also send out you know things that are very funny you know as well just to give you a laugh you know you may be going through something you just need a little uplift at that day hey we all do you know being able to do that you can't be a hey okra without bringing some kind of jokes in there a lot of he he and a heavy ha ha so you will be able to do that best way possible so, um, you know, just being able to share that as well. You know, if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well, too. It would be greatly appreciated. You know, whatever vibes you're really needing, you know, to stay on your you know, on your journey, you know, whatever is persistence, patience, healing, concentration, focus. I'm sending all that 10 million times flow towards yourself. You know, please, you know you have potential. You have a heavy light, a beautiful light about yourself. You know, enemies, anything that they, they see that can be very empowering, they would love to you know place they would love to breathe fear into that so don't allow yourself dumb it down block it out 
Don't want to dumb it down, but just block it out. Just do that. You know, and keep on going. If you have to take a pause for the cause, you go ahead and do that. But you get back on that, you know, you get back on that uh that horse stronger than you did when you fell off. Okay. So because whatever you're needing into your life, whatever is tend to be a blessing is not gonna come to you easy. It may take a minute, but you're gonna get it and it's gonna be further bigger, better than you ever imagined. So keep on going. So I hope you had a blessed Happy Turkey Day, you know, had a, you know, big gorgeous meal with yourself and been with lovely family members or friends, you know, I hope all that went well. Please be safe and responsible with everything you do, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, via frequencies, you never know, all those things can really take, you know, somebody a long way and just for you doing that just for positive intentions uh and motives you know hey it can take you even further so much love to you shalom i say peace namaste god bless love out